Hey guys, it's me Stace. I am back today with another Cricut Explore video. We are also doing our Make It Now Monday project. Today we are making a super simple Father's Day card. The only thing I did differently was resize it. And on this layer here, I'm going to use pop dots to kind of pop that up. And on the inside, I also added a little insert there. Now I did resize it because the original card cuts out like this. You can of course make it that size and you can always insert a gift card for dad. But today we're going to go ahead and resize it and make it be a standard A2 size card. Alright, let's go to the computer and we will get started. Alright, at the computer you're going to go to Cricut.com slash design. You're going to see this screen here, upper left hand corner where it says account. Click on that to sign in. Enter in your email and your password. When you see your name in that green box, that verifies that you were logged in. You want to go to the right and click on where it says All Categories. You can go down and click on Cards Father's Day. The one we are making is at the very bottom called Happy Father's Day Card. Click on that. This will bring up the preview window. Bottom right, click on Customize. Now, as I mentioned, I did resize the card. So the first thing I'm going to do is take, click on the orange layer and bring that out of my way. Take my left mouse button across all these pieces here, right click on those, choose group, click on them again to have them selected, go to the right hand side toolbar, click on edit, I'm going to unlock the lock, I'm going to make my width be 8.5, click enter, and the height we're going to make that be 5.5, and click enter. I want this layer here, I'm going to resize that one as well under your edit panel having that piece selected. This time I did leave the lock locked and I'm just going to change the width and make that be 10 inches and click enter. Alright, go ahead and click on go. We'll see all of our pieces here. I'm going to cut these out, we'll go to the table and put the card together. Alright guys, we are back. Everything went ahead and cut out. We're going to take our card base first and go ahead and fold this in half on that score line. And give that a crease with your bone folder. All right, that part's done. And this part here also has a score mark in it. I'm going to go ahead and crease that and go ahead and cut on the score mark. So now we have two of those. Now we have the front of our card and our little pieces to go behind that. We're going to flip this over. And I'm going to go ahead and use my art glitter glue. You can get this at maymaymadeit.com. And I'm going to go ahead and put some glue. When I unclog it first, I will then use the glue. Whenever it clogs, just go ahead and go in, like, go in there with your pin. You just kind of go back and forth. And then I usually take my fingernail over it just to make sure there's nothing stuck on top and it should work. There we go. Works every time. All right, so just kind of go ahead and kind of, I'm just kind of dotting it on that line between the legs and on the arm and then I can just kind of go around it. Okay, take the blue piece. Cover up dad. Okay, and do the same thing. Put this one down here. I'm gonna go around the head a little bit, just a little bit on the arm part and the legs, and then the side here. If you don't do it that way, it's gonna kind of be loose. Alright, then go ahead and lay this one right next to them. So they're holding hands. Super cute. Okay, there we have that. I have a little bit of glue smudge on the front, not a big deal. All right, now we have our banner. And again, we're going to go ahead and put some glue on the letters here to help hold our banner down. I'm just going just kind of dotting in my glue around it. You don't need a whole lot. Okay. I'm lining up the one I cut with the left side. You want to make sure you don't go on the lettering, though. And then just for added support, I'm going to go ahead, and go ahead and go in there with a piece of scotch tape to hold it down really well. And on this side as well. Okay, so now we have that. Now in Design Space, they had they showed staples there, so we're going to go ahead and take a tiny attacher. I'm using the Stampin' Up! one, but any one you have is fine. All right, now, we're, now you can lay it on the card flat like this. I think that looks really cute. Or you can add it um, pop dots on the back. I'm going to pop it up so both of mine match. I'm using Stampin' Up! Dimensionals, but any kind of pop dot you have or foam tape will be fine. I'm doing one in all the corners and a little bit in the center, and then two right in the middle. 
Okay, and then just go ahead and Google them a little push and take the backing off of all these guys. And if you're making this for a little girl or if you have a daughter who you want to give, make this card for, for her to give to dad, you can change that green to be a soft pink color or let them pick out the colors. Or she can pick out, you know, kind of the outfit she wants to wear. And right, I'm just going to line this up right on the front of the card and it does fit on there. It does cover the entire card. There's no border showing. I'm going to get one lined up, push on my dimensional, and then the rest will fall in place. And just kind of give them all a little squish. Isn't that cute? Really simple. All right, now we have the inside. This I cut this to be four by five and a quarter. We're going to take the other piece of that banner. I'm going to cut some off here. Just for a little bit of interest on the inside. Take the stapler again and just go in there at two staples so it matches the front. I'm going to flip it over on the back end here. Just kind of put a little dollop of glue there to hold it down for us. Like that. Then flip it over, take the scissors and go ahead and cut off the extra piece. And then put glue all the way around this. This way they can sign the card when they give it to dad this Sunday. Line that up on the inside here. Trying to get it straight, centered, and all that good stuff. Super, super simple card. And really cute. I love it. So what do you all think? Pretty easy, right? So there's that one, and there's that one. Any questions at all, guys, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.